the days and weeks ahead, we expect to see the number of cases, the number of deaths, and the number of affected countries climb even higher. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. You have started uh, serious uh, public health measures, and this is very, very important, and really, we're really proud that. To move from hearing about the outbreak to finding the virus, identifying it, and producing the genetic sequence and making that public to the rest of the world in two weeks is unprecedented. Um, it's incredibly um, efficient. I will praise China again and again because its actions actually help in reducing the spread of coronavirus to other countries. The commitment of the political leadership, starting from the number one, from the president himself. And I said it in my speech, the level of his knowledge is very, very amazing. It is clear that there is a massive effort that is making by China in order to contain the disease and to avoid its propagation um, and I think that uh, that uh, effort is remarkable. There's no question that China's bold approach to the rapid spread of this new respiratory pathogen has changed the course of what was a rapidly escalating and, and continues to be deadly epidemic. And it wasn't easy because what I didn't mention on this slide is every one of these lines represent a huge decision by policymakers and, 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 and politicians in this country and leaders.
Vi ringrazio ovviamente le autorità cinesi e il servizio cinese sanitario che eh, ci ha consentito rapidamente eh, di avere informazioni e soprattutto ci ha dato un esempio di come gestire un'epidemia che così come l'abbiamo vissuta in questi mesi forse è la prima volta dopo moltissimi moltissimi anni quindi io posso solo dire grazie alla Cina